Hey guys, Lady Raven here. And today I wanted to do just um, a short video um, kind of explaining what I just recently did. So I have um, some clips that I'm gonna add here at the end. Um, they're very brief and uh, maybe a few pi pictures, but I recently just built my very own PC, uh, gaming PC. So this is something that I wanted to do for a really long time. I just never had the money to do it. And I finally got some money and I was like, I'm gonna build my own gaming PC. So before I even bought anything at all, I did a lot of research. I browsed the internet looking for reviews on different computer parts and whether you should build it or whether you should buy one pre-built. Um, I watched a lot of YouTubers videos and their reviews. Um, I went to one of my favorite YouTubers, my favorite gaming YouTuber, uh, Lauren Z side. Um, and that's what I, I say Lauren Z side. So if you say Lauren's side, that's okay. But I say Lauren Z side. I know she just did like a little, um, I guess, um, debate on who said Lauren's side or Lauren Z side. And she didn't really care which way that you did it. Um, cause they both sound really cool, but I like saying Lauren Z side, but anyways, getting way off track. She's my favorite gaming YouTuber of all time. So of course I went to her videos first, um, and kind of looked what she put in her, her computer. Now she had hers, um, pre-built from Ironside. Um, but she got to pick out her different parts. So I was, contemplating getting one pre-built but it just felt like every single time I tried to put everything that I wanted into that it ended up being like way over my budget and I was like okay I don't really have money to do that so, but everybody kept telling me um go ahead and build your own I have a couple of my friends who have built their own pcs and like you should definitely build your own you can find cheaper parts and actually get things that you want instead of having to sacrifice when it comes to pre-built ones so I went ahead and I did my research went to a lot of tech I actually have subscribed to some tech channels just because of this process. Um, so I can, you know, stay on track with the latest and greatest, you know, updates on all the software and the gadgets and everything like that. So I decided I was gonna buy all my parts from a store called Micro Center. You may have one near you. They're really big computer stores um, and they are awesome, but they are crazy. And let me tell you, this was the most hectic and traumatizing thing I've ever decided to do because I know nothing about computers, I know nothing about the parts that go into them, and it took forever. I was looking for weeks on end at um, different sites, through Micro Center, through um, YouTube, trying to look at all the tutorials and all of their parts, suggestions, and everything. It took me a couple weeks to finally decide exactly what I wanted. Anyways, the only thing that I really struggled with once I got to the store was actually getting um, the motherboard. I could not remember exactly what brand that I wanted, but I finally found it. Um, I was able to find all my parts, but let me tell you, it was so stressful. And then having to get through all these people, it was like crowded. I was trying to look for a monitor and keyboard and then all these sales people kept coming up and talking to me. And I'm like, I don't want to talk to you. I know what I want, just get away from me. <laughs> Uh, but I know they were just trying to help. I was just already so frustrated. I just did not want to deal with anybody else. And then uh, when I finally left the store, I had all the parts that I needed for my actual PC, but I didn't have nothing else. I didn't have my monitor. I didn't have my keyboard, my mouse, nothing. I was like, so I can't even build this because I'm not even going to be able to test it to even see if I did it right because I don't have a monitor. So it was very stressful, very, very stressful. And then a couple of days later, I went out to finally actually get my monitor and everything. And I actually went to Best Buy for that because a lot more calm there and um, they actually were having a sale on different monitors and keyboards and stuff and they were having a sale on the microphones and webcams and everything so I was like okay then I can go ahead and knock all that out in one you know one hit so finally I got all the things that I needed and I it was finally time to build it so now I had these parts probably for like a week before I actually built the computer that's how lame I am yes it took me forever <laughs> it took me a whole 24 hours to build this thing um, cause we started the night before and then I did a little bit more in the morning and then I went to work and then I came home and then I finished it up and finally, finally I got everything taken care of. And even then, even after I got all that done, I actually got it up and running and I can actually play games and stuff on it. I still didn't have everything set up because I have three fans and you're going to see, um, in some of my footage I show you, I have three LED fans on the front. Okay. And they're supposed to light up and you can see in the video that they do light up but you can see in the other videos that i show they're not lit up and then i realized i left out two of the plugs that go from the led lights to the um actual power like power adapter but yeah so i went like a week with my led fans not being on until i realized that i never plugged them into the power source so i'm like kill me now just kill me now so yeah so you guys get to see you know the before and the after 
and it's going to be very quick for you. But for me, this is a very traumatizing, horrible, disturbing adventure that I had to go on because I just had to build my own PC. <sighs> but I did it. I, I did it. It's finished. I can finally use it. I can play my games. But um, I still do not have exactly what I was wanting in the first place. It's just that I want to save a little bit of money. Um, I actually wanted 32 gigabytes of RAM instead of the 16, but that would have been an extra like $150 that I didn't want to spend. And then I got a lower end graphics card, which is still a really good graphics card. It's still going to do what I need it to do, but I still want a higher one. I want one of the newer ones that are about six gigs. But once again, that would have cost me now an extra like $200. And so that's an extra, you know, $350 I saved that I just did not want to spend at the time. I know, I know, I probably should have just scraped somewhere else and got it, but I will eventually upgrade to what I actually want to the um, more RAM and then the higher end graphics card. And then of course I'm getting my second monitor. I'm trying to get that actually in the next couple of weeks because trying to, you know, watch your software for your gaming and then actually game at the same time, you kind of need two monitors because you got to be able to monitor one and then play the other. So it's really complicated just with one monitor. So I'm hoping to get another one within the next couple weeks and I'll try and do a video on that once I get it set up. Um, but for now, I'm happy with what I got. It took forever to get to where I want it, it to be and it's finally done. And I just want to show you guys in this short little video. So I hope you guys enjoy. So if you guys are gamers and know any cool like websites where I can download scary like horror games, which is what I really wanna do is horror games, um, let me know in the comments below. Um, or if there's a game that you specifically want me to play, uh, let me know, cause I will definitely take um, some recommendations. Cause I definitely wanna play games that I wanna play, but I also wanna do games that you guys wanna see as well. So let me know. Now this channel is not going to be specifically a gaming channel. I'm telling you that right now. Um, I just want to be able to do gaming videos, but it's not going to be solely gaming videos. Like I still want to do um, like unboxing videos and things like that. Um, so yeah. So stay tuned. Uh, check out my video on my PC building adventure here. And I will see you in the next one. Is the actual computer case. I don't even remember what brand this was. This was a cool mask or something. Thanks for this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I can take you out. Calm down. You're it was on the ground anyways. Alright. So there's the case. It comes with three fans. And all that good stuff like that. Now I gotta start putting shit together. Yeah. Okay. So here's the motherboard. I can't see it. Reflections bad. Mm -hmm. 
reflection's awful. Still? Really bad? It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. French tips. Oh yeah, they're so good. They were painted with gel paint. Yeah. Right. First time your your hands look like ladies. See static, static. That's not what we want. Oh snap! It's gonna blow. Don't say that. I can end up shocking them apart. That's not what we want. Okay. Shocking them apart. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> See, I'm gonna turn the mic and pervert it. Are you recording this? Yes. Okay. All about the shock of the parts. Shut up. <laughs> Stupid. <gasps> and they're nice. Okay. So here we got this. Ooh, cool. And we got black cord. This is the actual power cord. Black cords matter. And then these are all together. Okay. So, these are the screws I need. Yay! Look at that good old power plug. I don't like that this is different color wires, though. It's gonna look beautiful okay. in that clear glass case. It's gonna look so great. Sister in. Didn't record it, it's very nerve wracking. I never built a computer before, so we're following instructions. And it's causing me to have lots of anxiety. Now we are going to be doing the RAM next because just in case if this this CPU cooler takes up a lot of room. We don't want to not be able to put in the RAMs. So I'll be back in a minute. The RAM's in. Sean almost broke it, but we got it. Don't be angry. Go ahead. I'm so nervous. It's working. It does not sound like it works. I have also heard some of the suggestions. It does not. That was not working. Did I do it? It's supposed to be. Hey, how's it going, YouTube? You guys came back. I absolutely love every single one of you guys. So I'm landing two nuts. It's so pretty. fingerprints on there from my daughter yeah, she never stops touching it way to go Sam I'm picking out the glass but I just wanted to show you the fans um, and I can change them as well green blue purple oh now it's flashing everywhere so yeah like you can change everything I just want to show you guys my computer. It's really messy right now. Ugh. Cause my daughter, she likes to attack it. So yeah, took me forever to figure out how to do that though. Yeah, shouldn't have, but it did. <laughs> 